how can you change your life and how can you actually improve your quality of life um this has nothing to do with whatever you're going through or whatever situation you're in you just need to understand that you're not stuck you need to understand that in any situation that you're stuck you can always do something you can always do something to improve it obviously there are some things that you can control that you can't control but you need to know the difference between the things you can control and the things you can't control because sometimes we as humans our brain doesn't really function correctly so what we tend to do is to um, struggle and suffer about the things we can control and we don't do anything about the things we can't control so you need to know whatever situation you're in what can you do to change that you sit tight and meditate you can also journal it you can write about it and you ask yourself okay Alejandro what can you do to change this situation that you're in and what whatever, whatever answer to that you come up with is something that you understand that you can do something about it if you don't feel uh, comfortable with your body if you don't feel healthy for example what can you do about it ask yourself that that's a question that i actually ask myself and what did i answer in that point i said well i can start going to the gym being consistent and i can start actually caring about my diet and i started doing it obviously you need to understand that self-control is not as easy as it sounds like doing something like it's not just saying okay i will wake tomorrow at 8 a.m and i will go to the gym and i will have this excellent breakfast that it's gonna give me all my macronutrients it's it doesn't work like that it has to be gradual it has to be little by little and you need to understand that how that's that's exactly how big change gets done gets made gets achieved it's little by little for example if you have insomnia if you're struggling to sleep first you gotta start with something easy maybe start fixing your sleep schedule before going to the gym and when you are able to get better sleep like you can start waking up at nine you get your eight hours of sleep start going to start running you can even start just running 15 minutes a day or you can be in your in your bed and you can do 10 minutes of exercise because change it's not quick change is slow but it's the it's worth it and that's what people need to understand because i'm not gonna go to the gym and in one month i'm gonna have this super muscular body and, and i'm gonna be liked by everyone and everything's gonna go great for me or i'm gonna start a business and the first month i'm gonna be a millionaire and my business is gonna it doesn't work like that change in life takes time to improve and you need to accept the process because it's not that oh oh my god i need to spend six months in the gym to actually see a difference or i need to spend a year in my business to see it actually grow no you don't have to think about it as something bad and that's the main point where people fail to understand that life you need to fall in, in life you need to fall in love with the process right you need to fall in love with every day waking up you need to live day by day and stop thinking about the future because you can't do nothing about what's what hasn't happened right you can think about it and you can overthink about it but there's not a way that you can oh travel to the future and suddenly everything worked out for you you need to live the process because there's no other way and you can't change the past like if you didn't do something yesterday that was according to your plan understand that it's okay like people 
um, can have bad days. People can have days where they just didn't do what they had to do. And when you start blaming yourself and feeling so guilty about not doing something and actually waking up the next day and doing what you had to do and forget about the past, just, just forget about what didn't happen because you can't change it. Like there's no way to change it, at least, you know, by your knowledge, you know, by the, the science, we can ask that to ask that to relativity, right? But get used to do uncomfortable things, because when you get used to do uncomfortable things, the you can actually embrace the pain, and you can actually embrace the struggle of doing something uncomfortable of doing of getting out of the this um getting out getting out of your comfort zone sorry because when you get out of the comfort zone and you do for example one thing that's not comfortable for you like waking up early or doing an exercise or working on your business for two hours that can be a little bit complicated right to do for you and just not being in your bed binge watching tv or staying in overeating or doing drugs in your house without actually doing anything productive with your life you gotta understand that einstein said this is something i had for from kanye einstein said that insanity the definition of, of insanity is doing the same things expecting a different result so you can't expect that if you keep doing this every day, every day, every day, every day, and those things cause you to feel miserable, to feel pain and to feel discomfort, to feel bad with yourself. That's what I was doing with my life, for example. You can't expect to keep doing those things every day and expect that at the end of the day, you're gonna feel different or you're gonna feel okay. So you gotta look at it as, as a game plan, right? As, as, as a game. Okay, like, okay, I do this, I get that cause and effect. When you understand what are the things that you can do to change your life and what are the things that you can do to improve, you can start doing those things little by little and start changing those aspects of your life that cause you discomfort and you're gonna see how every day you're gonna feel a little better a little better with yourself and how did i do that for example i have my journal here which is mostly a to-do list i i did this and i asked myself what do i need to get done today and I have simple things that a lot of people do automatically, but I have them as a, and I, and I mark them every day. So every time I mark something, I feel good with myself because, wow, I did something that was actually productive for me and I did something that was actually good for me, right? I did something that was actually positive for my life. And I have wake up 8 a.m. I have, get my well-balanced breakfast i have my trading which is a personal project and i have going to the gym i have lunch my protein shake going to my class uh, i have read a book well-balanced dinner and sleep at 11 30 or 12. and there are some days where i just fail to do to do things but because i failed to do something do I need to stop trying? Because I fail one day, do I really need to stop um, my journey? No, failure is part of success. And I think that's a fact that a lot of people don't really understand. So where am I going with this? You can change your life and get better. Better in any point that you're in, you can improve it and you can be actually happy with yourself you just gotta understand look this is what you're gonna do you're gonna understand what's causing you pain 
understand what's making you feel bad every night. And I'm sure that a lot of people can really see and think objectively, okay, these are the things that I don't like about my life. For me, to give you an example, I was not going to my classes. I was skipping my classes. That was something that I felt bad every day about. What else? I was sleeping late. I was not getting enough sleep. And that's something that make me, make me feel bad and also physiologically um, hurt me, harmed my health. I was not eating well. I was not taking care of my body. So I noticed, like, I took a list. All these things that are making me miserable, that are not helping me to become a better person and to become happy and to reach happiness, right? So then I asked myself, what can I do about it? And if you think about all the things that I said, that I personally said, those were things that I could actually change and that I could actually take control over. And I just didn't know it. I felt like I was a victim. I felt like, oh, oh my God, is this, this is happening to me. Why is this happening to my life? I feel so bad. And God, why are you doing this to me? So much pain. I was feeling like a victim and I was hoping that someday that external huge force will just say okay just leave him alone but i just said man if i don't do something for myself nothing's gonna nobody's gonna do it for me if i don't do if i don't change my life doesn't matter who tries to help me if you don't try to help yourself you're not gonna change it doesn't matter where you go it doesn't matter who talks to you it doesn't matter um whatever if you don't do things if you don't take control of your life Nothing's gonna change. And that's what you need to understand. And that's your biggest power. When you take control of your life and you take control of all the actions you make every day, you, you, you understand yourself and you understand why you're doing exactly this thing uh, today. You know, you can have an insight, right? You can have the data. Like me, I have this data. This is pure data. I'm tracking my days and I know what are the things that I always get done and that I struggle more to get done. And by the data, okay, I see I'm struggling a lot to read my book, for example. I'm struggling a lot to study. I need to work on it. And when I work on it, I improve it and I can, and okay, now I'm actually doing it. I changed it because why? Because I understood the problem and I understood that I could change the problem and that I could actually do something about it. Okay? So, just to finish things up, when you understand what's going through your mind, when you understand what's making you feel bad, you need, to under, you need to ask yourself, as I said before, what can you do about it? You need to do a list of things uh, that you can do to change that thing that is making you struggle with your life. For example, you don't wanna exercise. Okay, start with a walk, 50 minutes, and then the next week you just try to go 30 minutes. And then you, go, you start going to the gym. You're building your discipline slowly because a mistake I used to make is that I wanted to rush it. I wanted to get fast to the um, to the finishing point. I wanted to get as fast as possible. I was trying to do one one hour at the gym when I had um, four months without going to the gym. I was trying to do a lot of weight. I was trying to be consistent, but the thing is that I was doing it wrong because I was not helping myself. I was being hard on myself because I was putting an unrealistic goal in my hands. Like, you need to do this. You need to change tomorrow. Tomorrow, you got to start doing this. I was putting an unrealistic goal in my mind. And when I was not able to achieve that unrealistic goal, that there was no way of me achieving it, 
I would I would feel bad about myself and it was just a cycle that kept going of me trying and I was just feeling oh why can I change I'm so miserable I fucking hate myself because I can't change this that's making me suffer right so when I started to do things little by little it was just like waking up you gotta brush your teeth some things that are easy to do and I started slow you know trying to fix my sleep trying to eat a little bit healthier not really following a diet plan a strict diet plan it was just that okay if i can choose to not drink the soda i would just not eat the soda but if i had a burger a day i would i would not beat my ass over it you know and uh, i would ask also have an input which was how was it how am i feeling and i have this every day of how how am i feeling every day like how do you feel what happened and if something bad happened that day i write it and i look back and i have the data and you can actually have insight of how those bad things that you do make you feel and when you understand okay so i'm doing this wrongly I'm do I did this and this is what's causing me to feel bad about myself. Like I can understand now exactly um okay I I did something bad today. I didn't wake up early and uh, I wrote it and I said okay I feel bad because I didn't wake up at the time I had to wake up. Now I have an input and I can analyze that data and see okay these are the things that make me feel bad. These are the things that I can't do. And when I do something good, like I have a great day, I also write it down and I can see, okay, when I do these things, my life actually improves. And at the end of the day, I feel good, right? Like you can, it, it's a basically a game. It's a system that you need to build within yourself. And obviously not everything works for everyone, right? But you gotta take the basics and you gotta take and what works which what actually works is having insight you need to start talking more with yourself you need to start connecting with your soul and you need to actually understand what are the things that make you feel miserable and what can you do about it and then gradually do things that make you feel better right don't be hard on yourself never be hard on yourself you're a human being and you deserve to be loved and when you understand that you deserve to be loved you can start to give that love to yourself nobody needs to give it to you you can start to give that love to yourself taking care of yourself and loving yourself and all this love that we have within ourselves that sometimes we give it a lot to someone else just try to give a little piece of the of that love to you and say okay you look at the self in the mirror how wow you look you look pretty today and when you start hitting the gym when you see those results you say you give a pat to yourself and say wow i'm actually doing something like i have changed and i recommend oh if you're trying to change your your appearance your physical appearance um, for yourself and for healthy purposes, journal like and track your journey because you can also see your progress and also journal your and track your journey of mental improvement and your path to happiness because you can also see how much you have improved and you can, it's always good to be proud of yourself be proud of everything you have done and be proud of the things that and the struggle that you have gone through because there's no way that nobody else can actually know what you feel there's no way that nobody else can know you like you know yourself so if you know yourself you know your heart you know how hard you you have struggled give you a pat in the back and say man you really tried you have really tried to improve and you have really tried to, to do things better and actually see an improvement in your life. So that would be it. I hope this has helped somebody. I'm just gonna publish it if somebody watches it. Well, I just have it to um, for myself. 
for my my own introspection right that's what we're talking about like be proud of yourself this is part of myself yeah, i'm just posting it in case this could help s somebody but i'm already proud because it already helped me so we already helped someone so that's enough so that would be it that will